Here is another simulation for uh, two wave sources. So these two red points here are going to emit uh, light waves. So if I start this playing, uh, here we can see the light waves coming off. Uh, again, uh, here we see alternating light and dark, alternating uh, crests and troughs. So this is uh, constructive interference happening here. Here where there is no alteration, this is destructive interference. Uh, so what we're seeing here, this column, is the instantaneous light on the screen. Uh, the instantaneous, I guess I should say amplitude. Um, so you see it flashing some. Uh, and what's over here, this is what we would actually see with our eyes. This is the intensity on the screen um, averaged over, uh, in this case, sort of 10 time steps. Uh, so here we see our alternating bright spot, dark spot, bright spot, dark spot where the bright spots are constructive interference, the dark spots are destructive interference. Uh, so some things I can play around with here. Uh, I can change the wavelength of each of my sources. Uh, so I change those and then click enter. Uh, this seems to have only changed uh, one of them. I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, now we've changed both. I'm not sure why that took uh, so many attempts here. Uh, but you change the wavelength, and it changes uh, the size of the bright and dark spots, uh, as well as their spacing. Uh, so here's our, our different wavelengths, different frequencies. And now we can really see our bright and dark spots moving along the screen, uh, sliding around. And so averaged over a couple of uh, seconds, what our eyes would actually perceive is just sort of a muddy, slightly illuminated screen. We would not see the bright and dark spots since they slide around so much. OK, so back to two sources with the same wavelength, and we get a nice interference pattern here. Uh, I can change the spacing between the sources. So move them farther apart, and we can see that it changes uh, what the pattern of light and dark spots is. I can change the phase shift uh, between my bright and dark spots. So again, each time I change something, I have to press enter for it to register on the simulation. Uh, and here we can really see from the, the blinking that this phase shift does mean that these things blink, that the waves are emitted, uh, not simultaneously. Uh, so again, there's a phase shift. It has changed what our interference pattern looks like, but we do still get an interference pattern. Uh, so this is 90. If I go back to 0, we get something that looks a little bit different. If I go to 180, this should make our central point uh, dark if our, if our waves start out with 180 degrees phase shift. And indeed, in the middle here, this is a dark spot now. Uh, so we can change the wavelength, we can change the uh, phase shift. This random here, if I put a number in for random, this is going to randomly change the phase between the two waves. Uh, so, uh, let me put this, let's put them back in phase uh, first. So here are our two waves uh, flashing in phase. Now if I put random to some number, uh, it's going to randomly, every so many seconds, change the phase shift between them. Uh, so we can see, you can tell as the phase shift changes, that where these bright and dark spots are slide around some. And so what we get here, depending on uh, what I set this random to be, right now it looks like we do get some bright and dark spots, but we can see that they are sliding around some. Uh, let's see if I make the random a little bit smaller so that the phase shifts happen more often. Uh, then we definitely, we sort of get some very fuzzy grayness over here, uh, interspersed with some regions where we do see bright and dark spots. Uh, so what we're doing here, this changing the phase shift randomly, this is what we would get if it was incoherent light sources. Uh, so this is our two incoherent light sources that we talked about in class and decided that the bright and dark spots would slide around. That's exactly what we're seeing here. Uh, you can also, if you wanted to, change, uh, let's get rid of this random. 
Uh, if you want, you can change the amplitude of either of the waves. Uh, so I could make one wave stronger than the other. Uh, and we see that it spreads out these bright spots. If I make it much stronger, uh, then we basically get just an illuminated screen. Right now, the light from one of these sources is so much brighter, so much stronger than the light from the other source, that they can never fully cancel out. Uh, and so we always have at least some illumination going on here. Uh, so lots of things that you play, can play around with here. And as always, I will put the link to the simulation in the comments.